go at once. Seems this place has never been touched by man. There's merit in felling birds from the sky. I'll take that. What's this? Let us pray for a brighter future. Looks like a cottage. Since ancient times, the doors of the faith have been open to Arisen as they go about their work. I know not if we can aid your quest, but we shall try with all our strength. You've come! I came here to the Abbey in hopes they might find me worthy to send on to the Grand Cathedral in Aldring. No place holds so much wisdom concerning the dragon as there. While I am here, I train as a sister of the Faith. I'm to gather flowers. They say I have talent as a healer. That if I labor hard enough, I... They say I'll learn to grant blessings upon others through flowers. I fear I am a poor judge of such things. Still, what say you, cousin? Tis said a blessing of flowers leaves the recipient awash with joyous feeling. Any luck? Though in truth, tis the Mother Superior here I must convince of my abilities, and the priests. I must show them I have an aptitude as a healer. But as I said before, I have little notion what to expect. Could I ask you to give a flower to someone and tell me of their response? She trains in the blessing of flowers, does she? And she bears the gifts of a healer. How wonderful. I should like to see her handiwork. One look at such a flower is enough to glean the power of they who blessed it.
this is Kina's then? How marvelous. It would seem she is gifted indeed. Perhaps it will not be so long before the Mother Superior writes the mainland on Kina's behalf. To think on it gives me joy. It was the Maker's hand guided her here to our church. I know it. Kina will be eager to hear what the priest had to say. I've learned what to do in this quest. quest now. Fear not should we lose our way, Master. Your map will serve us. You delivered the flower, and what did the father say? Then they acknowledge my skill as a healer. I knew I was right to have come here. If I continue at this pace, I am sure to earn transfer to the Great Cathedral. I swear I will. Then I shall learn more of the dragon to aid in your journey. I've, I've gained quest knowledge. Well, let us pray for a brighter future. An abbey, here. It seems a dangerous place for such pursuits. Here for business? Then you've heard not the news. Madeline's in some trouble of late. She abandoned her shop and fled under cover of night. Here for business? She abandoned her shop and fled under cover of night. Dagger returned. Perhaps we'd best ask around. Yes, tongues wag with talk of Madeline. Rumor has it she was dealing in illicit goods. Some authority uncovered her game and she was forced to shutter her shop. I hear she fled, too, before the guards had a chance to arrest her. Just what was she up to? I'd like to know. Madeline shop? Sure, everyone knows of it. She bought the place when the first donor fled the dragon. Opened for business soon after. She has a fine head for figures. A bit stingy with the credit, if I dare say so. It's odd she closed so sunlight. I'd wager there's more to this tale than we can say. scour every corner of the capital if we must. Madeline fled along the waterway below us. Oh, 
why is such a place here? Take care when walking at the water's edge. So I'm discovered at last. You must believe me, I've done nothing wrong. They say I dealt in banned goods. If it's true, I swear it was not my intent. I had no idea. But as I don't expect them to take me at my word, I was forced into hiding. I fled in such haste, all my goods were left behind. More's the pity, I suppose. Wish I'd thought to secure my dagger. It's a kind of charm what brings good fortune, you see. Maker's breath! That's... that's my dagger! Oh, you beautiful thing! I can hardly believe it! I could just kiss you. I have not the words to thank you. It's been at my side ere I started my trade, many moons ago. But then, I've greater concerns at the moment. I've never seen trouble the likes of this. Even now, I feel the tears welling. It took all of my will and every last bit of gold to see that shop opened. And now, if you hadn't found me, I don't know what I'd do. Huh? No! Soldiers! I arisen, well met. We pursue a female merchant named Madeline. She is charged by his grace with trafficking in those queer medallions. As a symbol of salvation, the sale of such is blasphemy and treason both. We mean to arrest her and uncover the girl's connection to the zealot's leadership. We believe she is in hiding near here. Have you seen aught that might aid us? No. We have reports she fled here. Ho! Oh, there she is! Don't let her escape! Forgive me, sir. Duty calls. Arisen, I suspect lying does not come easy. I'm sorry to have asked it of you. I can tarry no longer. I must seek safety somewhere further off. I'm at peace with the loss of my shop and merchandise. Such things can be replaced. But parting from you is a blow far more cruel. What? I speak from the heart! shames me to ask for more, when you have given me so much. Yet, might you spare some gold for my travels? My hasty departure left me without a single coin to my name. If all goes well, I shall pay you back in full. Most likely. Eventually. Thank you. You show such kindness to this foolish girl. And I... Once I'm safely away, I will establish a new shop in whatever place my travels take me. And when my purse jingles once again, I shall track you down and repay my debt. True. Well, I must be off. I must say, before leaving Cassidus with you, my life was utterly hopeless. But see how far I've come. I even had a shop of my own. If only for a moment, I can take pride in that. And as this adventure failed to kill me, perhaps I may even learn aught from it. Or not. I know not what fortune holds for you, Arisen, but I trust it will be terrifically exciting. Please don't die. Promise me you'll come see me in my next shop. Farewell, Arisen.
I've gained quest knowledge. I've learned what to do in this quest. Fossil here is poor. Tread carefully. Well, let us pray for a brighter future. Seems a dangerous place for such pursuits. You were raised with Kino, were you not? I would ask a service of you on her behalf. Make a bless you, my child. As you know, Kina is well devoted to the church. She has distinguished herself here, and her studies and duties both. So it is at long last that her fervent wish has come true. She is granted transfer to the Grand Cathedral in the mainland. It is a great honor for our humble abbey. We are aglow with pride. We wish to bestow upon Kina a gift of blessed items that the Maker may shield her on her journey. But alas, we find ourselves without certain sacred materials required for the blessing. As her friend since childhood, we can think of none more suited to gather these items. I would also ask you hold this errand secret from Kina. We hope to surprise her with the gift on the morning of her departure. The materials can be found within the catacombs. I understand these self-same materials are readily available in processed form throughout our capital. The gold required, however, is formidable. And we feel the task worthy of a more personal touch besides. Fallen way castle this. Still, there may yet be aught to top the wall. This seems to need underground. Oh! I, I didn't expect to find you here. Though in truth, you could well say the same of me. I'm sorry. I, I know I cause you worry. But I've glad tidings. At long last I'm granted leave to the Grand Cathedral. Thoughts of your plight consumes my days. But now I may finally discover some means to aid you. All the faith knows of the dragon can be found at the Grand Cathedral. I... I pray you support my decision to go. Thank you. I feel I must go. Both for your sake and my own. <laughs> In my heart of hearts, I always knew you would support me. Is that not why you help Sister Clara's gather items for a blessing? <laughs> yes, I heard. But please do not let slip that I know. <laughs> she does so love her little surprises. I do wish you would stay close. Shall we? I'll take that. This is so most evil floats.
I'll go at once. I shall see you at the Abbey Anon. Make her speed your steps. The Mother Superior awaits us, and Kina's gift as well. An Abbey? Here? It seems a dangerous place for such pursuits. I have no doubt Kina's desire to visit the Grand Cathedral owes much to your role as Arisen. Acolytes of the Faith have long studied the dragon there. Doubtless she hopes to discover some means to aid you. Some call it folly to attempt the long journey to the mainland with the dragon about. But I disagree. Knowledge is the light on our path to conquering this evil. It must never be abandoned. My thanks, Arisen. This is all we required. We shall begin the blessing at once. May the Maker's light shine always upon you. Well, sister, the time is near. Our time together has been short, and yet you have become so very dear to the Abbey. You make me feel quite small, sister. To quit the Abbey for my own reason seems altogether selfish now. Nonsense, child. It warms my heart to send one of our own to the Grand Cathedral. Afore you depart, I would have you take this. A gift from all of us. Oh, my! So this is why you spent such long hours afield. It is wonderful. I cannot imagine the effort it took to craft. My steps will be lighter knowing I bear the support of such fine friends. Pray, wait for me. I shall return to help as soon as I might. Also, I... I would give you this. It is a small thing, hardly equal to all you've done for me, but I... <sighs> Listen to me. It seems there's nary a parting I can't turn painful. I shall return to you. I swear it. I feel more familiar with this quest now. I've learned what to do in this quest. <laughs> 